Hey guys, I'm Brent Paulson, down in one on my golf spy. I'm getting over a sinus infection, so if I sound muddled, I'm sorry. It's not intentional. I have been feeling awful. But anyway, I owe you guys an apology. I'm sorry that I did not get this out there a long time ago. I, uh, I worked on this video for a long time. Not this one right now, but... <laughs> I I literally made like five versions of this video. Um, the first couple were long and drawn out and full of information and videos of me putting and spending 12 decades on the putting green and showing distances and testing and da 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 and I decided, you know what, I don't need to do that. There's absolutely no need. Um, if you guys want to try this putter, go out, get it in your hands, try it. Uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just tell you what my thoughts were. Um, so anyway, when I first started the testing, I originally was going to test this against an even roll ER6 because I really love that putter. Um, but this putter set me back and I don't have extraordinarily deep pockets and I was not going to go out and also buy and even roll ER6. So I decided the next best thing would be because I did the review for my Golf Spy on this guy, which is the MLA Tour Classic. What better than to, to test it against one of my Golf Spy's very own top rated putters and the putter that I tested, I liked, and it lived in my bag for a long while. It did lower my, uh, lowered my, my, my strokes uh, putting, not a lot, but it got me a lot closer to the hole, which essentially, you know, almost guaranteed me two putts, um, you know, and no more. This one absolutely goes in the hole more. Um, I love this putter. The thing that I love most about this, number one, the sight line is super easy to see. This one, I know it's supposed to, you know, work with your brain and become a simpler line, and I totally felt like it did when I used it, um, and I felt like it got me closer to the hole, but the sight line wasn't clear enough to get me in the hole, and this one is. Uh, but the thing that I love most about this putter is that once you're online and you, you know, figure out your feel and you you know, get your distance down, as long as you don't grip it too hard, I feel like my standard grip, which isn't a really, you know, strong grip on a club, it's just, I, I feel like this club, if you hold on to it a little bit less than you normally would, and let the, the club do the work since it is lie, lie angle balanced, um, it really does the work for you. You don't have to, you know, it, it doesn't get twisty or anything. It just stays online on its own and you just let it do its thing. Then it's awesome. And you don't have to think about that anymore. You know, I mean, um, while I was doing all my tests and whatnot, with, with this putter, I felt like, you know, I'm, I'm still worried about the face. I'm still making sure that my hands are, are moving forward towards the target together. And with this, not so much. Um, which is one of the reasons that I love it. Now, this thing still is a giant oversized bottle opener slash Starship Enterprise. But, um, it's awesome. <laughs> and I totally dig it. Uh... Yeah, and I love that it's flat black and sleek looking, and the the uh, the shaft is almost a mat, and it's just it's cool. Um, still debating on this grip. I love that it does have automatic built-in four degree forward press, but at the same time, this oval shape is not my favorite. I'm still a huge fan of a. Um, like a mid-size uh, classic black um, wind grip. I also love the uh, the new. Um, oh God. 
Golf Pride Tour the pistol. That thing is amazing and I'm probably going to get one and throw it on here and give it a try because I definitely want to do that. But I wanted to test this, you know, without screwing around. Um, but yeah, anyway. Love this club. It's going to stay in my bag for an unknown amount of time. Um, if I do end up with some extra loot in my pocket, I am going to buy an ER6 because I do actually want to give that thing a run for its money too. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them up. I will answer them in a decently timed fashion. And uh, yeah. It's still cold outside. I don't know, here in Chicago, it's uh, it's not too bad. Decent. Um, a few days ago, I could have gone golfing. It was like almost 50 degrees. But um, anyway, have fun golfing and ask some questions. Go check out the spotter. It's, uh, it's at the PGA show. So um, yeah, go find directed four spotters. Adios. This game is too easy.